So this is Elite 91 Rod Band Am Review. It's the first try I'm trying to make this video because of sound issues and I have noticed because I've only taken this off. That's how far I've gone. I've only done that. But the hands are not sticking in the holes. So that's a big concern of mine. So I'm hoping the other hand is in here. So let's begin by taking Mr. Rob and I'm out. Let's see the other hands is in there. Yes, it is. So let's start with the hands then. Let's see, I do like how though there's no more wires, but it's plastic in the back. As we can see, no plastic wires in the back, so that's cool. So let's start with these hands. Nice hands. There's nothing else I can really talk about. I like that it's got the black peg. It's not skin tone, so that's nice. And I do like that actually cut mic holders, so the chair as well. So that's the first thing we could talk about with the RVD. Second thing, chair. I understand why they've gone with the chair, because then you could do the chair tone bits, but I'm sick and tired, though, of getting these chairs and ladders and sets. When are we getting another table? Hmm? Elite Series 94, make it happen, give one of the biggest table. So, that's the race accessories. Now, we move on to the main event. Of Elite Series 91, Rob Van Dam. So let's start by looking at the face. Let's see if I can get that more focused in there. That's the thing I'm going to get is that. So, so let's just try moving that. There we are. Uh, face scan here. Really nice face scan. Do like the gear. The face itself. Nothing really to complain about. Nothing I can more can say than that. Let's move on to the accessible hand. It's the hands that we get is the Robin Dam five star hands. Where you can do is R. No. R. V. D. R. V. D. Thing. Got his extra. Do that as his pose as well. So let's move on also to his things. At the same Van Dam on the side, Van Dam on the side. Which what they said like Rob and the strength or something, but nothing can actually about that. The articulation on this figure is also amazing. Just needs to loosen it up a little bit because it is stiff as a doornail at the moment on the legs, but rather than that. But that's only because it's literally just come out of the box. Cool so it works but it's, it's not a wiggly fig and the gear itself i do wish we got the other gear the red and white but i understand why they didn't do that here but the gear that i want to see them do the most mattel do the most of an rvd is the money in the bank it's, no not money in the bank might have won at the money in the bank 2013 but i'm not sure if he did was his wrestlemania 22 gear which was the red dragon thing, red dragon on this run. Because that's my favourite gear. Also, you could have gone with the Marvel D Money Bank briefcase, which would have been cool. So, there's nothing else I really can talk about this figure, but it is a nice figure. I think, out of the scale that I normally do, I believe it's 10. I've not done one of these in a while, so out of 10, I would give this a solid. <sighs> solid nine i'd say solid nine it's not a 10 because of it's literally like the little things like the chair there's a mess thing there was weird i don't know if that's like a crack in the plastic or something i don't know we don't see that but that's the thing that causes it and the other thing is causing it is the fact of the legs are really stiff. But out of the set out of the set I'm looking at. Because I am the only figure I'm not the only figure I'm not gonna pick up in the set is more like the Kevin Owens. Because it's literally the same figure again than what was it seven no, seventy, eighty, eighty four I believe. The one that just came with a ladder, you know. But rather than that, really good figure, hope you all enjoy. Rest of your day. Bye for now.